One of the easiest ways to improve the realism of a 3D model is to apply textures to the faces of 3D objects. Texturing improves the rendered look of a scene while reducing the amount of 3D modeling required. Here we see the 3D buildings situated in the historic district of Lower Town in Old Quebec. The design file containing the 3D buildings has been texturized by assigning and warping photos to the building surfaces. In the following example, the remaining two faces will have 3D textures applied. Descartes introduces a new type of texture known as an advanced texture. An advanced texture is a raster file that's associated with a shape or shapes in the design file. Before an image can be applied as a texture, it needs to be attached interactively in the same view as the elements or in a new view. In this example, the image is a photograph taken of the building at ground level. The Texture Tools toolbox provides the tools needed to apply textures to shapes. The Assign to Area tool is used to assign a shape or shapes to a raster image or images. The Tool Settings provides controls to create a new assignment, append to an existing assignment, or to remove an assignment. It also allows for using selection sets and selecting multiple images. To establish the association, the image and its corresponding shape or shapes are selected. The Warp to Area tool is then used to adjust the images to the associated shapes. Tool settings allow you to define the view, cropping, and method. The method defines the warp method and can be set to either points or rectangle. In this example, points will be used which will warp the image based on a set of input points. When the selection is accepted, the image is fitted to the view. Prompts provide instructions to define locations on the image that correspond to a location on the associated element. The image is dynamically warped to fit the defined points. Tool settings allow you to add, move, or remove points to ensure a good fit. When the image appears to be square with the element, the output texture can be created. The Warp to Area Options dialog provides options to specify the attachment, resolution, and output of the resulting file. The new image is created and attached to the shape. The original photo that was attached via the Raster Manager is unchanged and can be detached. For the second building, the rectangle method will be used. To do that, a rectangle bounding the windows will be defined and used to align the image to the selected element. The photo is attached via the Raster Manager and is assigned to the shape. Warp to Area is selected and the method is set to Rectangle. The image is fitted to the view and is ready for warping. When using the Rectangle method, choose the largest rectangle possible to decrease transformation errors. In this example, the corners of the outermost windows will be used to define the rectangle. Status bar prompts provide instructions for selecting the extents of the rectangle.
When the last point is entered, the image will be warped to the view, and the prompt will ask for an anchor point. The anchor point is the point on the image that will be used to reference for the move, scale, and rotate operations to follow. Once the anchor point has been defined, the Tool Settings dialog will change to provide transformation tools. These are used to make the final adjustments to the raster. When the image appears to be square to the shape, the Warp to Area Options dialog is used to define the parameters of the output shape. As with the first example, the original photo is not modified and can therefore be detached. Advanced textures can be edited using the Descartes raster editing tools. To do that, use the Start Editing tool from the Texture Tools toolbox. That will convert the advanced texture to a raster attachment. When the edits are complete, use the End Editing tool to convert the image back to an advanced texture. 